and welcome back to the channel. I'm Hank Strange. This is Stranger Palooza. We are at Sunshine State RVs. There you can see my friend Nick of Sunshine State RV. I'm going to shake your hand without even looking. Yeah, yeah, and we've also, <laughs> we've got Seth of Chinook joining us. You guys saw him in the shorts that we put up. How's it going? And today, what I want to talk about, Chinook has, this is the Chinook Maverick behind us, right? This is, this is a B plus. And to me, to me, Nick, I think this is very competitive against a Winnebago Echo. And I think it's competitive against the Leisure Travel, the Wonder on the Ford Transit. Yes. So, but I think uh, we both agree that it blows them both out of the water. I think so because it's it, as a B plus, it's legitimately a B plus. Yes. Right, and it's it's right there in that sweet spot between utilitarian and luxury. What do you think? Yes, it is. And right. Seth here has to be politically correct, so he can't say anything about any of these companies. <laughs> but we can say whatever we want. No one, no one beat up Stranger Palooza. No one beat up Seth. <laughs> He's a good guy. He's a good guy. But so, the Ford Transit all-wheel drive is, you know, definitely the chassis to build on. This is the thing. Yeah. This one deserves the stripe, Seth. The sports. Car, I just want to say that the sports the car right. of motorhome. Yeah, the Ford Transit, my favorite. My favorite chassis to build on. This is the best. The Ford Transit has the most horsepower, most torque. Yep. Okay, all-wheel drive. Amazing. Yes. So we're going to get all into that. And since it's the three of us, I will try not to. It's for the folks out there who get mad because I interrupt you. Oh, you don't can know. I get three times? Three that times. I let's see if three I can, three strikes see if I can keep out. to that. Yeah, awesome. let's get all into it right now. Hey everyone, a new Vanasaur t-shirt design is out, just in time for the winter season. It's called Winter Camping Fun. Even here in the Sunshine State, it feels a lot like winter. If you're a fan of outdoor life, then this is a great way to give someone you care about a gift or get something for yourself and support this channel at the same time. All you have to do is follow the link here on YouTube, just below the video description to the Stranger Palooza store, where you will find this Winter Camping Fun design and other fun, cool Stranger Palooza gear. Let's go for it, guys. Let's start hey, from the outside. Nick like with Sunshine do. State RVs. Seth with Chinook RV. And we're ready to do this. I mean, this is a Maverick. So this is a 24-foot yeah. Ford Transit all-wheel drive chassis. Yeah. And so typically the Transits are like 22 feet, like mm -hmm. a Coachman Beyond or, or the the Chinook Bayside, mm -hmm. Bayside. Is, is 22 feet that they build on all-wheel drive. This, they just take the cutaway, which is just the front of it, mm -hmm. which is the guts of it. This, that's the best part, the part that feels like a sports car when you're driving it, real comfortable, that all-wheel drive, mm -hmm. EcoBoost V6 engine, and they build like this really cool box it looks on the great, back. by of the it. way. Yeah. yeah, no, yeah. it is, it is definitely my, my favorite B plus on a Ford Transit. So yeah. I've seen, I mean, there's other ones out there. The Echo you mentioned, we've mm -hmm. seen the Cross Trail, mm -hmm. we've seen the Leisure Travel uh, Wonder. Um, there's yeah. other B pluses built on the Transit. And out of all the ones I've seen, Hank, mm -hmm. um, this one kills them all. I mean, I mean, this definitely blows out that Leisure Travel. The, I, the Echo's different, I think. So this is the conversation me and Hank have had for the last hour. <laughs> the Echo is just so different, where this is way more like the Leisure Travel. Right. And when you're comparing apples to apples, I think the Echo is more of like an off-road. I think um, Seth was saying it's utilitarian. It, it is, it is. And, that and, is true. And this I doesn't give that. me that utilitarian feel. Yep. So this is, this is way more luxury yeah way more higher end comfortable leather wood you know but you guys build this though for people to take it into the frozen tundra absolutely yeah okay yeah it's got a gold star certification for four seasons um camping so you can through take truma right through truma i mean truma did this huge test on it yep. that's like one of the things people always say what what are the top three things about the coach you know mm -hmm. obviously the ford transit all-wheel drive mm -hmm. yep. obviously the fact that it's 24 feet mm -hmm. with that aluminum siding the fiberglass all that and then the truma gold star certification is huge yep. for cold weather it can yep. get down to what five degrees five or something degrees tested so your Insane. black gray tank are completely enclosed with tr truma ductwork going in there and heat pads right and they're completely sealed they're not exposed at all 
and your fresh water tank is above the floor, okay. and all your water lines are above the floor. Okay. So let so, can I just ask this? This is my one. This is interruption. Oh, you've already one. been. We've only been doing this a minute, and you're already into your first colors. one. Colors. So this does look really good in white. Do is, is there color? It options? does. It does. Yep. So they, they also make a silver, just yep. like the summit that we did oh, last okay. week. Yep. Okay. They make a silver in that. So white and silver. So I want to have one of each so people can see it. We got our big Ocala yeah. show coming up. Yes, we do. Tomorrow. Ocala RV show. We're going out there tomorrow. This will be there. This yep. will be there tomorrow. Just drove it here myself. If Hank pulls an all-nighter, maybe he'll get this video up by the time <laughs> the show you starts. Bet I will. <laughs> so what's okay. cool? These okay. are some of the things I noticed right off okay. the bat. Set right. back up a little yeah. bit. So mm -hmm. painted bumpers. I yeah. love that, right? I love the painted bumper mm -hmm. look. I love the stripe down the middle. Yeah. It just adds to it. I like the projector headlights. I also. really like these xenon headlights. Yeah. Like I like this look a lot. It, yeah. it gives it like that sports, that luxury feel. Yeah. I like the Ford aluminum rims that are factory from Ford. I think that's mm -hmm. great. Mm -hmm. um, this is a nice size step here when you're walking in. It's not a little dainty step. I mean, this is right. this is a good size step. So I think people really this is gas. Like that. You can open the thing right there. This is this a gas powered gas all wheel drive EcoBoost. Yeah. People love that EcoBoost. It's a yeah. V6 engine. What's the torque and all that? You know all that stuff. It's it. The torques are 410, something yeah. like that. So 310 <laughs> horsepower and yeah. I think 410 or 405 torque. Yeah, I mean that's the that's the best. Yeah, <laughs> these allergies are killing me. Hey? Yeah, I know. Me too, man. So, <gasps> driving both chassis, both the Mercedes and the Ford Transit, I gotta say I love the response out of the Transit yeah. more. Mm -hmm. But the Mercedes Benz, for those looking for a more comfortable wide with mm -hmm. heated seats and stuff, and it, there's the advantage. There. Yeah. Okay. Um, but That's definitely true. a quicker chassis. If you're looking for something more fun, pet to it step, I recommend the Ford Transit. Okay. okay. So pretty cool. You get the Onam 4000 generator. A lot of the wow. bees come with the 2800. Yeah, that's a big. This that's is a nice. 4000 watt. This is a gasoline generator, and it is the quiet. So it is quiet for its size. Yes. Um, Okay, and so this is AGMs. This is AGMs, so there's okay. four AGMs in there. Equal um, 800 amp hours. 800 amp hours of AGM, wow. which, okay. which we all know is a little different than lithium, right. but I like how it's here. You know why I like it? Because it can be upgraded like that. Yeah. Absolutely. It can be and upgraded to 100, four 100 amp hour lithiums, mm -hmm. very easy. And people say this is better for cold weather, yes. AGMs, okay. Yeah. Yeah, well, so. that's part of the Truma cold weather thing. It's gonna thing. hold their charge rate a little bit. Right, better. let me okay. hold this thing. Oh, so this is the deal. Over. Oh. Cold weather. Look at this. Have you guys ever seen those sexy legs before? <laughs> Woo! Look, at those look at that. We don't believe in cold weather here yeah. in Florida. You can only get so much. <laughs> you can only take so much. So, yeah. wait, we, thanks for that, Nick. We I don't get cold that. weather here in Florida today. We are in February. No, today's March first. Yep. And it's eighty something degrees. Out pollen is everywhere. Allergies are killing you. me. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. Yes, cold weather, these are better. Today, there ain't no cold weather around here. Uh, no I'm guessing the stripes weather. come standard, right? Yep, so yeah, this is the one paint scheme we have so far. Yeah. It's full body paint, and that's a mask that gets put on, and each stripe is painted. Oh, okay. So this is aluminum. So almost like an aluminum Airstream, or like mm -hmm. an aluminum shell, like a car. This is all aluminum sides and then fiberglass on the front shell so fiberglass on the back benefit with doing the aluminum it's a little bit lighter and mm -hmm. it's a lot stronger of a build so we're okay. sika bonding these aluminum panels to the substructure you have two bottom panels two top panels and then a roof panel and they all overlap about an inch so oh, you have cool. no water intrusion yeah we need to do that factory tour nick yeah i uh, I told you I did it. So they gave me. Oh, you already saw it. Okay. Him, Phil, the owner, and okay. Jeff, their GM, gave me a factory tour, and I left there saying, "Holy crap, this is nice." Yeah. Oh, like, sweet. Okay. They they know their stuff, but I'll go with you, Hank, if you need some company. Yeah, if I need someone to. We can take know. a trip. I just, yeah, it's either you or Lola. I don't know who. You have a twin bed RV, person. right? No. <laughs> you know twin beds? We can. I put them together. Oh. No, okay. <laughs> um, what's in here? So this is another storage compartment. Yep. Well, oh. actually, this is the, the water. water bay. Oh. And this is heated. So yep. they put a heating duct into here, so that right. way none of the stuff freezes in the, in the cold weather. Yeah. yeah. So we'll give you guys a little look underneath. Go for it. Black tank, 24 gallon. You got all your water bay stuff in there. Your fresh water tank fill. You got your black and gray tank flush. Mm -hmm. You got your outside shower, and then I also. Like this. Um, Yes, he's right. This is a heated bay, so you got a heat pad on this tank itself. And on the top side, there's duct work going into this bay and the bay on the other side okay. to help maintain temperature for the tanks. 
Oh, nice. You've got the outside okay. shower, and so you don't have to leave this door open. There's a screw port here, here, and then your hoses oh, okay, go up right. and in. That's Those, like a quick connect. It ain't too quick, Seth. I'm sitting here trying to do it. <laughs> you have to know how to do it right. Uh, <laughs> when you know how to do it, it's quick. See these pins? Yeah. Yep. They got a match in. Oh. I'm assuming you hear a click. Yeah, you have to hear a click. I think you pull and push no, it. No, no, there you go. Putting a little pressure on Seth here. Uh oh. Yeah. Come on, Seth. Uh oh. There it is. Maybe. There it is. There it is. Uh, okay, cool. Perfect. That was quick. <laughs> it's a little wet. Yeah. And so this is what you're talking about. This comes out yep. and you can drop your lines down. So through check there. this out. I've never seen this before, Hank. Mm -hmm. So you have a tank meter back here. You see that right there? Yeah, so you so, don't have to go to your app. So you don't have to go to the app or you, you don't have to go back inside mm -hmm. to make sure you're empty. You can actually see. Yeah. I've, I've never seen that before. That's yeah. cool. That That's convenient. That's pretty neat, right? Yeah. It works. So what's cool about this also is whenever mm -hmm. you're done dumping and filling and doing all your stuff, you can clean everything off right here. Mm -hmm. Hot and cold water, it yep. says there. Yeah. And so you can clean everything out. You you store the hose there and you use it right there. Right. So how great is that? Yeah. Pull it out here, hook it in, dump it, and then when you're done, unhook it, clean it, and mm -hmm. put it in right there. You're going with six inches back and forth to handle everything. Yeah. I think yeah. it's pretty nice. I like that's, how that's designed. Uh, that's very convenient. I would it say. is. Yeah. It is. And I like this here, nice long, so that way you can you know clean your hands, your feet. Yeah. If you're like Robin Williams in the movie RV. <laughs> don't, be like don't be like Robin Williams. Don't be like Robin Williams. Don't do it. I want to see a video of you. I heard that. that yeah, you got I've stuff been there. I've you. been there. It's not fun. Is there a video of that? Um, I, it will never be shown. <laughs> Come on, Hank. I think we should shown. start a live auction for charity to see that video oh, oh of everything exploding. Yeah, I'll start the bidding at a hundred dollars. It was accidentally deleted. <laughs> I will start the bidding at a hundred dollars for that video. It um, happened to me though. It happened. Uh, yes. yes. Okay. So I right. always talk about the smart plug. I love these. Mm -hmm. I love how there's a light on there. When it's in there, it clicks in. Yep. Um, and then there's a light there. So it clicks in on both sides mm -hmm. and the plug actually lights up knowing that you have real power, which I think is so big. I, right. Every video, I say the same thing, Hank, that mm -hmm. We get lots of phone calls. So here at Sunshine Center Vs, we do a full walkthrough. Mm -hmm. So we have Justin, who's one of our technicians, Corey, Matt, mm -hmm. one of our guys. They're just finishing a walkthrough right now. These people yeah. came in from uh, yeah. Tennessee to buy their Beyond. Right. They named it Lola. I think they that's named it awesome. after your wife. Well, that's cool. No, <laughs> it means yeah. life. Hey, Wayne, what does Lola mean? Uh, Lola? Lola. Yeah. What's it mean? Living our life's adventures. Living our life's adventures. So Boom, there you go. Here we go. So there this you go. Is Hank this, Strange. This, this is Stranger Pollution. Oh boy. This Absolutely. Is, this is Wayne his, Hoover. His, his, How you doing, uh, Wayne? How you doing? Good Pleasure to see to you, buddy. You. I hope you don't mind being on camera. Well, hey. You could You're find a good a looking subject. guy. You can find a worse subject. Yeah. <laughs> so Wayne just yeah. came in from Tennessee and uh -huh. bought, not Tennessee. Kentucky. 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 Oh, Kentucky. Kentucky. I love Kentucky. Kentucky. Yeah. They bought a uh, Beyond and they named it Lola. Oh, and sweet. Lola. Yeah. And then I told Lola about it. She was yeah. honored. Oh, I love Kentucky, man. Kentucky's always been nice to me. If you like uh, bourbon and oh. you like horses, mm -hmm. brother, you cannot go wrong. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to Kentucky Derby this year. Are you real? Oh, sweet. I am. Are you going to be there? Uh, no. I tell you what, we live about five minutes from Keeneland. Okay. And um, when I compare Keeneland and Churchill Downs, I would take Keeneland a million times huh. over Churchill Downs. I gotta check it out then. I like but, horse racing. Uh, yeah, it's it's a great it's a great sport. Awesome, yeah. Wayne. We appreciate you coming in, man. I know Hank was a big part of your uh, decision making as well. Uh -oh. Well, yeah, I loved his videos. Awesome. Thank I you. have been. We <laughs> say what we say we have been done is we have for the last mm -hmm. three months been doing RV porn. On oh, YouTube. <laughs> That's what his wife told me. Yeah, RV4. <laughs> you know, worse things could happen. That's right. I don't this think so, Hank. I don't this, know. <laughs> there's worse things out there. I, don't I promise know about you. That. That's right. I All promise we did you. was watch how to how to do this, what uh -huh. mods people have done. Right. What a great time they're having. Cool. And I'm just I'm impressed with the quality mm -hmm. of people and their willingness to interact and share with other people. Yeah, Because you don't community. get that in everything. Yeah, yeah there's a yeah. good community out yeah. there. How, how have the uh, Sunshine State RV guys treated you? Uh, we talked to other people, uh, but when I went to do reviews, God's honest truth, mm -hmm. and I told Nick this, I, I didn't see one negative review about Sunshine State. Everybody was outstanding, and when I talked to other people, I'd go, well, Sunshine State wouldn't do this, or Nick wouldn't do this, and mm -hmm. 
you know, it, it was no brainer really when it came to making a decision. If awesome. You're, if you're going to get one <laughs> and you're going to make that leap, yeah. this is the man. I Can't get a better nice. endorsement than that. Oh, here's, wait, there's money, there's money exchanging. <laughs> okay, I saw about 10 bad reviews. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> and this is where we cut. Yeah. No. <laughs> no, it just no, no, couldn't, that's awesome. couldn't get better. So Hank just finished his yeah. walkthrough. And the reason I was saying that was because how big of a deal the smart plug is. Yeah. Because a lot of people go camping and they've never done it and they don't plug their RV all the way in. Yeah. And so what happens is it starts arcing and then you start shorting things out and messing it up. And I think it's such a big deal that you're that you're beyond mm -hmm. and the Chinook both have this really cool smart plug yeah. that locks it in so that way it doesn't come out which yeah. is a huge, huge is well, Wayne going to be at the beyond rally he is he's oh, coming yes. to dinner tomorrow night yeah we're oh, coming boy. and uh, mm -hmm. but the, th the thing that impressed me I, I saw your for your videos first when I was going through and I his enthusiasm was contagious mm -hmm. um, but you know just little things impress me uh, being built in Elkhart, Indiana, because we're Hoosiers originally. Okay. Uh, so, um, and I, cool. I know they do a good job. So I'm they just. Do. And we looked at we looked at a lot of different models, and there's a lot of great models mm -hmm. out there. And, and of course, Sunshine State carries almost all of Class Bs. Mm -hmm. But if you want somebody that's a Class B expert, don't go to somebody that's got everything else on the lot. Go to somebody that knows Class Bs specifically. There we go. Man, I agree he, he's going to be in our he ad. Is. He is. You're going to be you. in our ad that we were. Wayne, I, I appreciate you. I hope You're you welcome. gave him that dollar. Nah, no, that's all right. <laughs> I'll get it later. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, sir. Right. You're Thanks, welcome, sir. Enjoy, I appreciate enjoy your you beyond. Enjoy. Good choice. Now, have to, now my three that's months awesome. of purchasing from Amazon, I have to transfer. Oh, boy. Ah. There you go. There you go. That'll be fun. Yeah, okay. Because uh, they've got, Amazon's got me on speed dial. Oh, there you okay. Go. <laughs> that's cool. Nice little break. I don't think anyone will be grudge us. that one. That, that break. Okay. Yes, sorry. Um, so yes, that was un, unplanned, right. obviously. But I do believe in the smart plug, and yep. that's a perfect example. This is what we do at Sunshine Cerebees. We give you a real thorough walkthrough. I think he just had a two-hour walkthrough with one mm -hmm. of our technicians. Mm -hmm. And these are things that they get taught during that walkthrough. Yeah. That how to plug in, how to use it, how to dump, how to... And we put you up at a local campground for two nights, mm -hmm. and we go through all that. So that way, if you have any issues at all, we can be there with you for your first two nights of owning the RV. Because that's when you're really going to learn and... Yeah, had, exactly. I mean, you learned a lot in your first, yeah, you first get two in nights. Yeah, you got to mess up stuff up. <laughs> yeah, so you got to get in there and break something. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, my water. So, yeah, it. let's take a so, look in here. As, as we continue, so we got the storage. Right. We got, so the storage is next to it. The tank is the, uh, where you where you dump it is there. And I think this is pretty neat to have right there as well. Uh -huh. So this is an outside storage. Right. That also has has a uh, heating from in there. There's, There's a, a lot of space plug. here. Yeah. Lots of space. I would use this as like a little mini bar, Hank. Mm -hmm. I mean, how, how cool is that? I I'm agree gonna, with you. I'm going to chime in on this one. So this is about 100 pounds rated for outside kitchen use. Oh. The cooktop inside, the induction cooktop pops up out of place and you can bring it out here. Oh. So now you can cook outside, yeah. say like tilapia or something mm -hmm. stinky. You're not cooking inside the coach. Yeah. Now you can bring or it out. Or you could put a portable grill. Like we have a portable electric grill. You could put it here. That's cool. Coffee I like maker. that. Yeah, I like that. You could pull up anywhere. I've seen people do it. And you just, you know, you're just stopping somewhere. But you could just quickly grill some burgers and, yep. you know, and then close it up. That's awesome. You Should know, we talk about this? What's written right the there? Sports car, the sports of car of motorhomes. Sports car of motorhomes. Can we do some racing? So, so absolutely. Let's Hank, take it to the track. Hank has oh. Hank, Hank has the uh, Audi from Iron Man. Yes. <laughs> very very fancy. I don't know if that will beat this sports car or if he has a real sports car. <laughs> My little minivan will not even come close. I like it. This one. Hank this has. one. I like it. It's on a. It's on a transit. It does look a little it sporty, deserves, doesn't it? Yeah. It looks sporty. It's on a transit. It deserves the stripes. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, so this the has the the thumbs approval from Hank? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> there we go. There yeah. we go. So Chinook, a little bit of history before we move inside yeah. the coach or to the other side. Chinook's been around since 19... 1938 was when the first Holy Chinook mm -hmm. was assembled as a truck bed camper. Went 38? All, 1938 wow. under okay. Meyer and Sons. It was a truck bed camper. Okay. And over the time it progressed, they did. did Henry Ford help them with that. I mean, 1938. I'm not sure. Old. I know it went from <laughs> they got really famous with the uh, Class B conversions mm -hmm. and their B plus conversions yeah. as well. Yeah. Um, they did some travel trailers. They did a lot of different yeah. things. Henry um, Ford was one of the first overlanders. 
but the yeah they used to they used to go out overland their most yeah. popular yeah. model was this b plus this is yeah. their like most a popular concourse. yeah the concourse. and like 98 to 06 they yep. made a uh, chinook concourse on yep. the ford chassis they made some on a chevy yep. but mainly on the ford and, and we've sold hundreds of those yep. absolutely love them mm -hmm. such high, high quality their construction uh, just everything that chinook has done there, I, I really feel like they're picking up that mantle and running with it. Chinook has always been known for quality over quantity, and that's yeah. something we're going to stick with. All right, awesome. Good. Okay, cool. So, let's as, keep moving back here. As we're still moving, you, you yep. have one step, and it's nice, and it's not power. You just pick it up and drop that it down. up, yep. This is a very big deal. I know we touched on it earlier, and we'll touch on it again as we walk over there. Cold weather certified. Yep. Okay. You, you don't see that sticky wear anywhere on me, right? Mm -hmm. I'm not cold weather certified. No. <laughs> You're a Floridian. I am a Floridian, but Floridian. this RV is cold weather certified. Yep. Mm -hmm. Five degrees. Pretty cool. The Truma Tessa they did. Um, More storage. This is. Yep. This so is this awesome. is. Is this heated? This this is a heated bay so, as well. So this is heated in here. Yep. Yeah. And this is all storage. So on, on the camping. So side. okay. So on the passenger side or camping side, as you're saying, that's yep. all storage. All we'll just open go in. storage bay. Three, three. This is this is awesome. This is awesome. Lola right? would love this. And then check that out. So you have a quick connect right there. Ah. So you can put a grill right here. You can grill under the power Gerard yep. awning. Yep. yep. So you put the awning out. And you can sit here. You have a yep. grill there. I'm sure you got a 110 plug somewhere over here. Yep. You can plug in. There's a plug in this one right here in a the back corner. Plug in uh, that one. Quick connect there. So you have some music out here. You can have yeah. your, your or the induction stove that comes out. You can yeah. put that there. Yep. You can have a grill here, table, chairs, whatever you want under the awning, hanging out. I think this is great. Yeah, even though this doesn't have like slide outs, like there are some B pluses that have that. Yeah, this has it. a lot of storage. And also you yeah. notice it doesn't have a side door. Yeah. So that's pretty cool that people aren't coming in and out right through your campsite. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. know, the the door is in the back, which is pretty cool. Yeah. That was always a Chinook thing as well mm -hmm. from the concourse and the summit back in the day that they always had that rear door, which I love it. I think mm -hmm. I think that disrupts the least amount of the RV having that side door. It, it, does. it lets you use all the side room space. Yeah. You know, you don't have to find room for a door here or a door here. You can utilize all the side yeah. wall space, put what you want, yeah. make room for Lots stuff that fits, and mm -hmm. boom. I okay. also like how these doors open out instead of up. Yep. You know, the door, the ones that open up, gravity tends to take over sometimes and they fall. Yeah. This here, they open they open out like this, so you put something in there and then you just close them. And really most easy. of them are lockable, right? All of them. All, all of but them the are generator. lockable, but the generator. Except the generator. Yeah. That has to be accessible. Has to be those. accessible because of propane fill. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. Yeah. So that generator feeds off of propane? Uh, yeah. The generator is actually a gasoline generator. Gasoline. Okay, and so when that's... we order these transits, we order them with the larger 31-gallon oh, fuel right. tank. Ah, so you deal. get a whole nother six gallons of fuel use with your generator ah. versus a lot of the other guys. Isn't that cool? That's good. That's a plus. Yeah. I like yeah. that. Yeah. You know, cool. often, usually you see like 25. Yeah. So this, 31 gallons in this cool. guy. Yep. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. And then so, we've got Maverick here. Maverick. Pretty cool yeah. name. Maverick, yeah. Ford, all-wheel drive, and then also one thing I like to point out is the body line match. Oh, I didn't not notice that. Not a lot that. of people really oh, notice that, and that is a huge thing oh, when it body comes line, to engineering. Yeah. Oh, okay. So and you guys aesthetics. build that to match what Ford does? At Ford or Mercedes. Or yep. Mercedes. Yep. Oh, okay, cool. That's that's cool. That's I did not see that. This is, I mean, it's just... I love the quality of paint. I like the type of paint. I yeah. I just, I, I mean, I really like this whole thing. It looks great. I'm a fan of this. Man. Oh, did you film this Truma thing, Hank? Oh, yeah. Let me show that. So this here, this Maverick endured rigorous temperature testing wherein the unit was sealed in a cold chamber at negative 15 degrees Celsius <laughs> yep. overnight. Typically, to meet the gold standard, five temperature sensors are applied. Not Chinook. They did 21 temperature sensors. Yep. There you go. So for the test, all usually it's five sensors. All five sensors have to hit 65 degrees within four hours. Mm -hmm. We did it with 21 sensors mm -hmm. in three hours and 20 minutes, beating the Gold Star certification. Wow. Okay. We were one of the few B pluses to be able to do that and the only in North America. Wow. Yeah, because I was going to say, Nick, I So there's no think. leisure travel that does this. There's no, no <laughs> any yeah. other B pluses on this. Yeah. Ford Transit that does this. Yeah. I mean, I think this, this, a lot of this stuff is what really sets this Chinook apart yeah. is stuff like this. Mm -hmm. Just that attention to quality. So, absolutely. Cool. That's awesome. I love Let's it. Jump in. Yeah. Hank, you interrupted my lunch again. You, you'll survive. You'll uh, survive. I don't know. Chick fil A will be here in a few minutes. On this video. 
Chick-fil-A will be here in a few minutes, so this will be the quickest okay. video we've Let's ever do done. Let's do it. <laughs> Get on up in there. I've only interrupted you one time. Oh, whatever. <laughs> oh, boy. Dang. So rear entry is nice yep. because yeah. it's wide. So I like how wide this is. I also like how it doesn't interrupt anything else up there in the coach, mm -hmm. right? So it gives you lots of space for a couch, dinette, beds, mm -hmm. twins, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. um, this being 24 feet exactly, or is it 24? 24 feet five. Five inches. You have uh, this huge. This closet is I mean, amazing. Look at that. Yeah. I mean, this is, I don't even have this many oh, clothes in my house. Like my closet is not even this big. I can't tell you another B plus or you know B for that matter, obviously. But I don't know another B plus that has a big closet like this. Yeah. If you buy a hat, Seth, or if you buy a hat, do you get a free RV? <laughs> if you buy an RV, do you get a free hat? It works like that. Yeah. There you go. Okay, that's the one. If you buy an RV, you get a free hat. Okay. Don't let him pin you down, Seth. <laughs> Don't let him pin you down. Can Hank have a free hat? Is the question. I love the. I love these buttons here. You like buttons? That's, I just think that's cool. So awning, yeah. outside stuff, lights, mm -hmm. and then there is a screen here. Mm -hmm. This is kind of like a. A Firefly-esque screen, mm -hmm. so you got your lighting here. So the light, the light does dim as well as you mm -hmm. hold it. They kind of dim. Look mm -hmm. at that. Chicks love the dimmer. Yeah. Well, you know, when you're partying, you got to dim. I don't. I've, I've been married 20 years, Hank. Oh, okay. I'm happily married for 20 years. Yeah. Um. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> so lighting. Yeah. You got air conditioner. Uh -huh. You have all kinds of. Does this work on an app also? Yes. Yeah. You can um app. The KIV app through your phone, so you can download the app and you'll have full accessibility through your phone. And that's on there. You also have an app on the EQ and a few other things inside the coach oh, cool. that we'll touch nice. on as well. That's yeah, nice, yeah. Truma as well? Yep. Um, Truma does have an app, yes. So the Truma Combi, so you have a, a Truma on an app. You can have the whole multiplex system here in the app. You can have your hydraulic jacks. That's something else we haven't even touched on. This thing comes standard with hydraulic jacks. That's, that's insane. That's cool. So really nice big closet there, and we're going to keep so in it. So very neat. As we're walking, something you notice here. This is a vinyl mm -hmm. floor. It's a, a woven marine grade. Here, check this out. It's actually a PVC woven. <laughs> PVC, that's yep. what I meant. So PVC. Very, yep. Tougher. Look at that. Durable plastic. Mm -hmm. Nice and soft feel. I mean, that's mm -hmm. thick, too. Yeah. I mean, I like this a lot. I, I mean, this is not... So that's good sound deadening, um, insulation, yeah. as well as obviously like a traction floor. Yeah, yeah I like the out. feel of it. It's waterproof. Mm -hmm. Just like a marine grade. That's what they put on pontoon boats. Ah. So you can take a power sprayer to that and power spray. It. I wouldn't recommend that in here. No, but I, I wouldn't either. So this yeah. is... But this is all one piece flooring, right? Yes. When you guys put yes. this in. So okay. when when we before we put anything on the coach, it's one big piece, three quarter inch subfloor, mm -hmm. um, and then we do the PVC floor over that mm -hmm. um, in one piece, and it's completely glued down. It's not just the furniture holding it down. And on the back side, instead of where a lot of guys do like a tart paper underlayment, we mm -hmm. do a full fiberglass underlayment, and then you have insulation between there and that. Uh -huh. um, so it's an insulated floor and then insulated walls and we'll get into that more in just yeah. a second. So I'm not saying that you you know you can't just wash this out. If someone parties too much, Nick, not you, not me either. No but someone else, you know, you can just wash this all out, man. If I lend this Bring to my eighteen year old. <laughs> <laughs> um okay, yeah. so what's really cool, so you have a separate shower. That's you don't amazing. get this a lot, especially yeah. in B pluses either. Mm -hmm. You do not get this a lot. A separate mm -hmm. shower. That a big old dude like myself can fit in, six foot tall, yeah. two hundred and thirty like seven, two hundred and thirty eight like pounds. Up here, give you Extra room, space. You got some nice light. Window. So you got the birds here. can come check you out. Here yeah. you got everything. So really yeah. nice there. Hot cold water. Nice. Privacy. Yeah. Pretty awesome. This is a big deal because someone technically, Nick, technically. could be using the shower <laughs> at the same time somebody's using. And this, Technically, which is my out. favorite. Yeah, this is insane. Uh, you, this also has a, 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 a vent in here. You do not see this full size sink bathrooms at 24 Full toilet. Foot. That's amazing. I, I would challenge any leisure travel to show yeah, me a I bathroom that. that looks better than this. Yeah, that's awesome. Isn't that cool? Yeah. I like the wood. I like the appointments. Like that, that little strip of tile is pretty cool. The mirror. Yeah. Like all of it. All of it. I mean, there's an AC vent in here. Yeah. There's a, a Dometic fan with a remote. I mean, you have your controls Look there. Look at the cabinets down there. Oh, that's insane. Yeah. That's so awesome, man. TP. RV specific TP. So people like to see yeah. people in the bathroom. So yeah. to see the size. So right. lots of size. 
lots of room everywhere. Yeah, I mean, you know, you got a little charger look, here. How close you in? <laughs> did you survive? I did. Yeah, I did. Yeah. See, so you, you can get privacy. I can. Yeah. You mind giving me a little privacy? You can hide out in here. <laughs> I need it. I'm gonna hide out here with my lunch next time you come. <laughs> no, this is really nice. This the the shower and the bathroom, those are really nicely. Done. I agree. I like and that. you know what's cool about Chinook is, you know, everybody has kind of their thing that they want to do to set them apart from everybody else. And so mm -hmm. I think building this on on the transit all wheel drive with the mm -hmm. quality and all that, but. On the bay sides, which is a, a regular transit van, 22 mm. feet, they have a separate shower and yeah, toilet, which do. no other Class B, like true Class B, has that. No. So just very unique. You and see I, rare baths a lot, but not a, not a split rare bath. You always see a separated. wet bath. Yeah. So this yeah. is like a dry bath that's huge. Mm -hmm. So really nice. Um, something else that in the last video, you remember this? Yes, I know. We go for it. <laughs> so this is a Dometic, what is it, 7.3 cubic feet? Um, I think it's a uh, actual 6.3. 6.3. Okay. Um, in, in Canada, it'd be 7 or something. Uh, you know, they do different metrics. Right, sure. <laughs> I got no idea. Um, uh, but what's really cool is that this is bigger than most other B pluses. So we yep. did a little comparison. I think this is bigger than like the Airstream, bigger than yeah. leisure travel. But what's cool is you can access it from right here. Nice big it's got freezer. A magic trick to it. Nice yeah, big fridge, that. right? Yes. So big then, fridge, which you don't see often. If you're bored, you can access it from this side too. <laughs> <laughs> that is cool. Come I on. I mean, you can, this is. I've nice. only ever seen that on real super high end stuff. I've never seen this on anything. Oh yeah. In my life, so I don't do super high end stuff. I got four kids, I think. Right. Yeah. I know, you poor guy. So to go in on that mm -hmm. fridge and why we chose it. So with the rear entry, you can walk in, you can get your drink from one way, or if you're relaxing inside, you don't have to go and open the door against yourself. You can okay. open it this way. Okay. So more of making it easier to use. So yeah, this well, is hey, also. I don't think you're fridge, understanding what I'm saying. Yes. You can open it from this side. Right, okay. And then when you close it, you can open it from this side. <laughs> okay, I got that Oh, check this out. I wonder if I can open one from one side. What? Oh, <laughs> look at that. You, you are going to break the world. <laughs> I mean, this is going to break the internet, I think. Yeah. This is going to break. Cool. That's awesome. This I is better it. than Taylor Swift concert yeah. tickets. I love, I love it. It's awesome. I mean, check that out. This is really Convection cool. microwave. It only does one door. It's just as lame. Um, it won't do both sides. But you could do all kinds of stuff in all here. All kinds man. of you stuff. You could do pizza, spaghetti, popcorn. I've cooked biscuits. I've, I've baked cookies. Yeah. I mean, so much, so many cool Does this cool have things. air fryer capability? No. It's got it's uh, microwave uh, convection, so that's mm -hmm. cool. Yeah, yeah real cool. Micro, yeah. So this is 8 or 10 inches longer than the Summit? So Yeah, yeah come up here. Yep. Come up here, Seth. We're at 8 inches longer than the Summit. So the Maverick's going to have a few bonuses. We don't do any mm -hmm. frame extension. So what we do is in this model, we put this cabinet in here mm -hmm. next to the cooktop, mm -hmm. and then you get a larger rear ward. So the, the wardrobe? wardrobe. So the mm -hmm. wardrobe is larger in the Maverick than the Summit, mm -hmm. and this is only in the Maverick. This cabinet right here is not in the Summit. Yeah. So if someone goes back and looks at that video, that was really cool. I was impressed by that. This has. How much more space? Uh, six inches? It's eight inches longer. Eight inches longer. So yeah, you got yeah. more storage for stuff. So let's see. Let's a lot with eight inches. Yeah, you know, I mean. <laughs> so. Miracles have been known to happen. Lo lots of uh, drawer space here. Yeah. Yep. This is your cooktop that comes out. Drawer here. Cooktop comes out. Cooktop comes out. And, yep. Which cool. unplugs right there. With, awesome. if, I'm, if I'm being 100% honest with you, Seth. Yep. I don't know why I'd ever take it out. Tilapia. Yeah. Okay. If you want to cook something outside, you take this out, well, you plug go. it in. Yeah, different strokes or different folks. In the back, like we were talking about, in the back, that thing, you could take it out there. There's yeah. reasons. There's reasons. I gotcha. Yeah. When we but go well, camping together, this I'm going to take this one. This is cooler. This is I mean, really, guys. Nice. You know I'm borrowing this van from you, right? Anytime, Hank. Yeah. <laughs> Anytime. That's part of our deal. That is. You know, since I'm a brand new, ambassador you are my for brand, SRV. The brand ambassador. Are you ambassador? I'm taking this out, Seth. Are yeah. you ambassador hey, yeah. us Let well? me know how it goes. Yeah. <laughs> are you uh, being a good ambassador? Oh, you know it. You know it. Okay. So, got a lot of stuff right here. Seth, you know more about that stuff. You yeah. got the Merlin solar charger, so this is just more of an info screen. You got okay. your Xantrex 3000 watt inverter. Okay. And then this right here is something special. It's a Coca-Cola bottle opener mm. that the Chinook owners put in the Chinooks from the 70s all the way until 2005. And that was uh, just cool. a little piece we wanted to bring back as far as the mm -hmm. nostalgia. 
Yeah. Um, so something really cool. Am yeah. I allowed to open beer with that? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. I'm Just don't open a Pepsi with it. Mm. Yeah. You know, Pepsi you gotta where? Get that real Coca Cola from Mexico. Pepsi, That's the real stuff. Pepsi, you know where that, right? is my jet? That's what I want to know. <laughs> where is my jet? Yeah, it's on Netflix. Yeah. So, okay, hey, very nice oh, here. On, Let's move on. Kitchen this side. Yep. So, you got both sides of the kitchen, and there again, having a rear entry, you do get both sides, which is nice. Mm -hmm. yep. So, nice big sink. I like. Mm -hmm. How big that is? Check this that out. Is I mean, huge. I mean, that this is, is like huge, a, right? a I mean, you country can, sink right there. You yeah. can not a country sink, Hank. This is a farm sink. Yeah. Okay. I'll go with what you're saying. <laughs> it's a farm sink. My wife saying it's a country style sink. It's a farm sink. Country Farmhouse style. sink. It's yeah. huge. Mm -hmm. And so what I also like is I like that this thing can come off. You can do a lot with it. Mm -hmm. Hot water, cold water. You can mm -hmm. even move it out of the way if you need. Yep. But look how big this is. And this thing fits in there. She can put pans in here, all types of things. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, that's nice, cool. big, deep sink. Look at that. That's another feature you don't see. You know, often. as we're standing here, I feel a breeze coming through there from the fan. Like, yeah. I mean, it's it's nice. We yeah. don't even have the AC on, and it what do we say? Eighty degrees, probably. Yeah, here, probably. Probably. Yeah. So. You know, we talked about this last time, which is pretty neat. These are adjustable as well. Yep. So a nice spice rack. You put all your spices. Very cool. Canned goods. Cool. Yeah. I have, I have a, a good friend of mine who's like a high-end chef here in town. He says you don't need any spices except salt and pepper. Huh. Oh. Says, Might be true. Might be true. Salt and pepper does if, it all. If you're, if you're a uh, gourmet chef. You so yeah. nice big cool. uh, storage yep. underneath there. Yep. That's awesome. Yeah. So lots of space, you know, in a 24 foot RV, you have the luxury of having outside space mm -hmm. and inside space. And Chinook has done a great job of giving you a lot of both of it. I remember last time, Hank, you were yeah, real we gotta open all these oh, cabinets. Oh, I want all the cabinets me. open, all oh, of them. Oh, I'm gonna keep going back. We're gonna kill your battery show. opening all these cabinets. I wanna show all the cabinets open. Every single one. Oh my lord, there you go, how's that? Does that make you happy? Yes. Every cabinet is awesome. open. <laughs> and look at them, they're all standing up too. None of them, yeah. gravity has look, not beat any of them yet. Look at all that room. This is just on the passenger side right here. And then we'll flip over. Lots this is of, the driver's side. Lots wow. of nice hard construction. You can see how firm this stuff is. Can't you hang from these? I could probably hang from these, yeah, but I'm 135 pounds. Let's see it. Let's see right. hang um, from it. Now, yeah. let's see. How, how, how dare, dare you that? come in here with your 135 pounds? Oh, look at that. He's hanging. Time. Eat a sandwich from first. The, well, I got him Chick-fil-A today. Oh, okay. All it's right, actually fine. up there right now. So you are making my Chick-fil-A get soggy. Oh, no. You know, when I was younger, I think oh, I was, geez. no, I, I don't I know was, if I was ever that I was 135 pounds when I was eight. All right, so a couple things I, I do want to bring the, a little bit. <laughs> we're not body shaming anybody here. I want to bring the light, the wall finish. So right, we're doing okay. a padded vinyl uh -huh. instead of the industry standard paper wrap blue on. Right. So when we do this, we actually finish the wall before it gets put on the coach. Mm -hmm. And that's important to note because when you look at all the finish work, there is padding in between all of your woodwork and metalwork. And on the roof here, there is mm -hmm. padding over the aluminum um, wall in between the aluminum trusses on the roof. Wow, okay. It's gonna very, do a really good job at quieting down all the squeaks and rattles mm -hmm. while you're driving down the road. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that extra step in sound dampening is huge for us because mm -hmm. you're gonna have a lot quieter. Well, you coach. just drove this thing a thousand miles down here. I did. So my question about that, I, I do like that, right? That's yep. really cool for sound and everything. Now, what about the wires running through there? How do you guys do that? And what if you had to like get access to Absolutely. those wires? So actually wires are more done lower mm -hmm. um, and then there's done in the roof. Oh, you're, okay. you're gonna notice they're not really in the side walls themselves. Oh, so you do, Okay, so just a completely different and, philosophy, I think on that, right? And yeah. also yeah. to note on those wires, everything's mm -hmm. color coded. Mm -hmm. So if there was an issue later on down the line. There won't be. <laughs> there won't be. You never know. There is. There always is. Yes. Yeah. These guys will be able to identify them quickly. You oh, know, okay. We do that. You know, hey, there's, you know, if there's something going on with the Enzantrex inverter, it's mm -hmm. got its own label um, okay. and it's got its own color so the mm -hmm. technicians can get the schematics uh, from us. That's cool. And then find out what the issue is. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Pretty that's neat. one of those things you don't see, but it's a good thing to have. So I love this floor plan, by the way, Hank. Mm -hmm. I know last time it was me and Lola hanging out here. Right. She's better looking than Seth is, so I'm not yeah, gonna sit I'm gonna, next to I'm him. Gonna switch, I'm gonna switch over here. You can go in, Seth. Okay. So, so lots of seating. We lots. Want, we don't necessarily have to show the folks, you know, us taking all of this out, but this is great seating right oh, we there. We did last time, remember? Yeah, you wanna do it? I 
mean, I feel like we have to. If we're, okay. really, if we're right. truly going to teach, well, uh, show people these RVs. you got to show them then. Can you just use the video from last time and just implant it? No, that's too much this? work, man. Oh, i got to go oh, back. Oh, it's more work than me doing all this? Yeah, so anyway, so this is... I got is, you big, strong, So this is guy. a couch, uh -huh. right? Are there seatbelts in this couch? There are not seatbelts. There are no seatbelts. This is a couch. You don't even need seatbelts. Mm -hmm. And then you have a dinette. So you got two seats yeah. there, three seats here. So there's five people fit very comfortably here. Yeah. yeah. Now, there's a lot of variations of this, right? So you can do a king-size bed. Yep. You can do twin beds. Yep. Or you can do the couch. So we're going to uh -huh. show you... Okay, so you can get different layouts here. Yep. Well, yeah. Okay. Well, out of this layout. You oh, can get out of this. Layout. That's right. I the other layout <laughs> that Chinook offers is yeah. two couches. Yep. So oh, we, okay. We do a double sofa where it's a sofa here, sofa here, and we do Laguna tables mm -hmm. instead of the Dream Dinette. Okay. Or you have this one, the Dinette sofa. Oh, okay. Um, I like I, that. This is a good office. Like Lola can sit and work. 100%. I can sit over here uh, and work at the same time. Who would be driving? Huh? Who would be driving? Um, this thing drives itself, man. Well, that's you what I heard. Really Did you hear that story? It, yeah, you could just put it in uh, adaptive so, cruise. <laughs> some salesman told a person one time that this RV practically drives itself. So they're yeah. driving down the road, they get out, and they come in the back and start, yeah, and start cooking, cooking until it, it wrecked because yeah. it didn't actually drive no. itself. But this has adaptive cruise control. It does have adaptive cruise yeah. It does. Control. Which will stop you if you do something silly like that. Don't yeah. do All that, right. though. All that's right. our warning. Do not do that. Let's lay this thing <laughs> out. Yeah, and show Come everybody. On. Let's show the people. Ready? I'm gonna clap like the clap on and clap off lights. Okay, you ready? Are. <laughs> okay. So now this would be the setup for two twin beds. Yep. So bed over here, bed over here. Yep. So this. six foot tall. Do I fit on this? Yeah, almost. Yeah. If I had a pillow right here, I fit. Yeah. But yeah. There you go. So pretty cool, right? Yeah, that's cool. Pretty comfortable couches. All right. I've slept on I would, say that, I would say that one's a little bigger than this side. It yeah. is. So yeah. this is going to be your bigger side because that's a dinette drop. And these do not remove versus on this side, you can take these off for a oh, little okay. bit more room uh, if you need it. Okay, cool. Pretty cool. All right, we got another one. Okay. Here it is. There you go. Here's Johnny. So Huge. big, big king size bed. Yep. You can lay this way if you like. I mean, that's plenty of room. Yep. You can lay front to back, side to side. Whatever these things even remove, if you want, God, I'm like, these things here move as well. Mm -hmm. So lots of space. Yeah, that's huge. It's big, right? Yeah. It's a lot of room right there. I so like that. Even if you have like a family, like a, a kid or two, you can put them on here as well. Yeah, like, yeah, cool. absolutely. So you have the couch and dinette. You have the twin beds, and this is the king bed layout. Mm -hmm. So. Lots of flexibility with this floor plan that I think really sets us apart from, as we've been saying the whole time, mm -hmm. the leisure travel yeah, and everything a, else. A lot there. of the other B plus <laughs> yep. on a transit chassis. Nicely done. Nicely done. Yeah, yeah. And, and I mean we're not sweating that bad. No. Nope. All right. You want to clap off, clap on, or whatever. Yes. There you go. Boom. So so pretty cool. You know, there's 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 a lot of stuff that's really unique about. A Chinook and this particular one, the Maverick on the Transit. But what else is cool is a 3000 watt inverter, mm -hmm. 400 watts of solar, the 4000 watt Onan generator, and then you have the 800 uh, amp hours of AGM batteries, which could easily be switched to four to 800 amp hours of lithium batteries. Yeah, absolutely. And like on Hank's van, what we did for you, we upgraded you to lithium. You have your generator and you have lithium yeah. and solar and inverter. You have mm -hmm. like this whole power pack to where you can go boondock be off the grid anywhere you want to be especially with the truma gold seal on this set you should yeah. i mean you can camp in the upper peninsula yep you can go to alaska and be ready for cold weather and be ready for power needs the the type of buyer buying this is going to be the person that wants to go anywhere anytime yep. any yep. time of the year no limits whether you want to go somewhere warm like here in florida yep. love it here or if you want to take this thing up to Alaska, yeah. Nova Scotia, um, Fairbanks, or anything like that, mm -hmm. you can you can do that, and we're seeing a lot of positivity from that because mm -hmm. you can We wanted to be a little bit separate to ourselves, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, so that's kind of our niche. I think the Chinook cold doing the cold weather package with the type of power that they give and the flexibility to be able to change that. You got your hydraulic jacks. Mm -hmm. If you are off off terrain somewhere, yep. you have the all wheel drive as well. Mm -hmm. Hank, you love that. I that love it, flexibility. Man. To me, that's like the best chassis. Do we want to show some of the upfront stuff here? Absolutely. Yeah, let's show. Uh, Check that so out. So behind right there, there is awesome. storage, so you yeah. can put your blankets, your pillows. That's cool. You got yeah. a bunch of plugins for stuff in here. there if you want yeah. to add there anything. And even that one. Can I put a kid up there? I got a little kid. <laughs> uh, no. Maybe a cat. A cat? 
Yeah, you can get away with that. <laughs> but no kids. EQ there. And yeah, so what does that do? So that's a, a leveling, hydraulic leveling system. Yep. So you have okay. a jack. How many jacks are in here? Three? Four. four. Four jacks okay. around the whole coach. You press the button mm -hmm. and it levels you just perfect. Yep. Yeah. So really nice. Yeah, that's really and cool. And then up front, they do a, a leather seat here. Mm -hmm. um, and then and then you have that big, what is that, a 10 or 12 inch screen? I mean, it's huge. Touch screen. 10 inch are touch those screen. switches? So yes, those are the Is that like hydraulics? Switches. <laughs> Not like hydraulics. Up on switches. <laughs> That's for if the customer wants to add a light bar or something aftermarket. Mm -hmm. And then on the left hand side is the trailer um, brake. So that's right. incorporated from Ford. We order it with the trailer brake and it's got the 5,000 pound hitch on the back. Oh, so yeah. you can tow up to 5,000 pounds with it. Yeah, that's really cool. We forgot the JBL. There's a oh, nice JBL right check here that too. Bad boy out. Also, so some Input nice sounds board. you could get. And Bluetooth, you can hook up yeah. Bluetooth to it. Yep. Yeah. And also radio and uh, look at that. It's pretty neat, huh? Yeah. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. So that's you, gonna have mm -hmm. inside speakers and then it's gonna have a subwoofer under Nick. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah, and one of the things talking about that brings me up to the ceiling. So we this is a Dometic AC, right? Dometic AC right now. And then ducted air. Ducted AC, yep. Right. So all that's all through. Yeah. Ducks everywhere. So that yeah. way it's not just blowing right in your face, giving yeah, you I like that. You know, drying you out at night. Yes. Yeah. Same with the heat as well. You have duct okay. work going throughout the coach. If you mm -hmm. notice, you got heat oh yeah back down low, here, and then you also have mm -hmm. heat in the bathroom. Ah. Okay, I see down and low. Okay, Truma cool. assisted us when we were engineering the duct work mm -hmm. for the Four Seasons capability. A lot of times you're gonna have. Um, hot spots and that was something we didn't want to have we wanted to keep all the coach at one temperature or close to versus hot over here cool over here yeah very nice do you want to go outside and wrap this up what yes i do one more thing check okay. this bad oh, boy cool. out oh yeah totally missed that isn't that cool yeah more storage there's a lot of storage there is in here. there's a yeah. lot of storage i think you can i really like and appreciate that you can be gone for a long time in this thing <laughs> yes that's what I would get if I, you know, I don't know, this might be my second or third or fourth or 20th interruption. If I got something like this, hey, we love you. I would get it just for that, what you just said. Storage. No, because you could really take this and get out on the road and live in this. Like yeah. two people, you could yeah. get out, live 100%. in this thing. 100%. Um, and have like everything. If you want to be able to have everything. So I mean, you know, like the best driving, most power, easy to drive, all that kind of stuff. Storage, uh, amenities. You want it to look good on the inside, look good on the outside. Lots of cool stuff. This is a sports car of motorhomes. Right. <laughs> and if you don't want to wait two years for stinking leisure travel, <laughs> the, the, they're starting to build these. I mean, this is it. These Should we go here. outside? <laughs> we go wherever you want. Hey, Let's go outside. Let's do is, it. This is Stranger Palooza. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna wrap this up. I'm gonna let these two guys do the wrap up. Anything we missed, stuff we need to talk about? No, I think Chinook has hit a home run with this. I think that being made here in, in USA, in Indiana, yep. they have chassis on the ground. Mm -hmm. This is one of their first ones coming off the line. Yep. And so what's cool is Chinook, you know, Seth comes in town, he's like, hey, how can we make this better? Yep. And I really feel like they're a factory and manufacturer that wants to make these better. Yep. I think they did a great job with this one. But like anything, um, except you, Hank, everything can be improved. Right, I know. I mean, that's so true. I can't argue with that. Now, is this available I knew you for sale? Have an argument. Like, if I don't this buy it. This is available. If Hank does not buy this, uh -huh. this is available for you. You're allowed to borrow it. Why would you buy it? You can, but you can use it anytime you want. I'll lend it to you. Oh, okay. I'll take um, you up on that. This is available. For, this will be at the Ocala RV show uh -huh. tomorrow. It'll be here in one hour and 30 minutes, probably, right? Yep. You are driving it from here to there. It'll be there tomorrow for sale. We'll have a Maverick, we'll have a Summit, we'll have a Bayside with a twin bed and a Bayside with a so single sofa. Awesome. All Sweet. four of them in Ocala for sale to drive away then. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. And you can place orders for them. They got chassis, they got silver and white. Yep. We can take an order. We deliver for free anywhere in the US. Also pretty cool about buying from us is this is all we do. We, we specialize in class Bs, few B pluses. We guarantee service appointments in five days. We have a technician teach you how to use the RV, just like what Wayne talked about earlier in the video, teach you how to use it, bring you in here, pay for your airfare to get here, put you up for a couple nights at a campground, and then we give you tech support the whole time you own the coach. So anybody calls us, any issues, any questions, they call us, we get them taken care of right away. And from us, you know, one thing I'm giving my customers is they can reach out to me directly. Mm -hmm. um, if you have an issue while on the road, I'm doing that for all the first customers as we get started, and then also, 
we give you a two-year, 30,000-mile warranty with it. Okay, so we're good. giving you a really good warranty. Yeah. I and mean, if you have any issues along the way, we're going to be right there with it to make sure it gets fixed and you get back on the road. Awesome, awesome. So let's do this, man. Big thanks to Seth of Chinook for uh, showing us this. No problem. I appreciate it. Of course, to Nick Schmidt. Yes. Some people have different things that they say. They call you different things, but it's Schmidt. It's all right. There you go. That's how you say it of Sunshine State RV. Yeah, come see us at the Ocala RV show. Seth yes. will be there. I'll be there. You'll be there. I'll be there. Lola will be there. These really cool vans will be there, plus 100%. more. Wait a lot more. Uh, especially Seth needs this. Let's go get some sandwiches. Awesome. <laughs> We're out of here. Peace.